We spent how much on ChatGPT and Claw this month? For how many users? Wow, <laughs> that's a lot. And we're gonna add how many more users this month? Uh, that's so much. All right, let me go ahead and jump into this demo real quick and show people how we can do this a little bit cheaper and actually fill in some of those use cases. All right, let me throw these headphones on. We're gonna hop into a demo. We're gonna check out how to deploy Olama on Kubernetes. We're gonna use a virtual cluster so that we can have a multi-tenant environment. We're gonna expose it, and then we're gonna connect to it on our local machine using the Olama client. So let's go ahead and get started, check it out, and see how it works. So in the last demo, what I was doing is I was installing the GPU operator on the host cluster and in the V cluster. There's actually a much easier way to do this, and it's just to sync the runtime classes. Uh, before 0.26, it would sync all or nothing, uh, but with the updates for 0.26, we can actually filter, which makes it super easy to actually pick the exact runtime classes that you want to expose to the virtual cluster. So for what we're going to do is we're actually just going to, we're just going to match labels for a certain thing, and then we're going to sync those runtime classes for NVIDIA up. Uh, and in this example, what we're using is app.kubernetes.io component uh, and GPU operator. So when you get or describe the runtime classes, you're going to see that information within it. And then here's our deployment for Olama. We're just going to use the Olama Docker container, and we're going to tell it to use the runtime class for NVIDIA. We're going to create this in the virtual cluster, which is actually going to see that runtime class. Uh, but we still need to say, that, hey, use this one in case there's not a default that's already configured. That way it'll use a GPU. Here's the service that we're gonna add in front of it. And then here's the ingress uh, resource we're gonna create in front of it too. So we're gonna expose it on olama.vcluster.ai, which is actually just a local thing. It's not actually expo exposed on that website. All right, so what do we start out with? We start out with getting our nodes. So the only node with the GPU is actually MMAI. So we'll describe the node and kind of show what we've got configured. I've got time slicing set up on it because it doesn't support MIG. So I've got four replicas and I've got one GPU. That means that I can create four different things that are attached to that GPU and use them. Uh, in this demo, I'm just gonna do one, but that's how you would actually set up the ability to have multiple users use the same GPU. Uh, I'm gonna get the runtime classes on the host cluster. Uh, there's a test class in here so that I can show the difference between the host cluster and the V cluster. Uh, I'm gonna list out the, the V clusters right now and show that there's no virtual clusters currently running. And then I'm gonna create a virtual cluster based on that V cluster YAML that I just showed you uh, that syncs the runtime classes. So I'm gonna kubectx to show that I'm actually uh, using that virtual cluster. And then I'm gonna get the runtime class uh, and I'm gonna show that there's only three of them now instead of the test class as well. And then let's go ahead and create all of those files that we just showed off. So we're gonna create the deployment, uh, we're gonna create the service, and then we're gonna create the ingress resource. You could put all this in one file. I just wanted to show how it looked and which things you need to set up to get this working. All right, now that we've got all those working, what we're gonna do next is we are going to export the Olama host. Uh, this is only gonna work for this current session. Um, uh, at the end, I'm going to show you how to actually export it so that it'll stay that way because we're going to use the new desktop app that just came out. So we've exported this, and then now we need to do a sudo alama serve. So now we're going to serve uh, on our local machine and say, hey, point all this stuff over there. And then I'm going to show you the GPU that's running there. It's not really running anything yet, but we'll see some stuff running when we actually get this going. All right, so I'm going to export it over here too because, like I said, it's per session. I'll show you how to do that for everything at the end. Um, I'm going to export the same host. And now my Olama locally is going to be using that endpoint as the host. So we're going to list and show that there's no models currently downloaded. And then we're going to say, hey, Olama, go run this uh, Gemma 3N uh, E4B. Uh, and what it's going to do is it's going to download it to that container, or that pod, right? It's going to download it and it's going to run it there. So this is literally running on my Kubernetes cluster on that node that has a GPU. Uh, and I can show that by saying, you know, what is Kubernetes? and then going over and showing this uh, GTX 1080 Ti running it. Not the best card, right? But I can at least show how it works. Uh, you got a better card, it's probably gonna have better results. I've got a 5072, but a little bit of weirdness with some of the uh, drivers and stuff with that. All right, so we're gonna say bye. We're gonna list out that we've got this model, and then we're gonna export the host again and say, you know, there is no endpoint, let's do everything locally, and list to show that we're using something different. All right, but if I wanna, if I wanna do that for everything on a Mac, I can just, you know, use this launch CTL uh, set environment variable and then set Olama hosts, which makes it easier to use the app right? Because the app wasn't actually using the uh, the host that was exported on the terminal, right? Because that's only for that session. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to show the GPU in the background again. I'm going to bring up the brand new Alama app, the desktop app that's got a chat. I'm going to show that I'm using this Gemma 3N E4B model. And then I'm just to say, you know, what is Kubernetes? And in the background, you're going to see all this work getting done, right? Like this is all running in the V cluster on that Kubernetes cluster. Uh, and it's accessing that GPU and we're getting these results. So that's basically the demo, right? Like there's there's more that I can show up. I'm actually working on some slides to create a webinar kind of on this and to kind of go beyond that because the next thing you need to think about is I've got this endpoint. I need to add auth because I don't want everybody just hitting this and using and using this and like driving my costs up so my GPUs are being used by who knows, you know, who knows what. Uh, so I need to add auth in front of it and then I need to configure some of that stuff so that I can actually access this in a secure way. 
But that's the basic idea of the demo. That's how to get it running. That's how to use a V cluster to set up multi-tenancy. So I could replicate this for another user and give them access and then they could do the same thing. But then you gotta start thinking about, okay, how many of the same model do I need running? Maybe I just do this and I have a couple of different V clusters that are certain models and I don't give users access to download a new model, but I do give them access to, to use that model with whatever client that they're using, uh, hook it into you know uh, the VS code or something like that if they want to as well. But uh, that's what I got today. Super short, trying to keep it short so that uh, I can give you a bunch of information. Uh, if you want to see something else, let me know. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. I am working on a Kai scheduler video. I have run into an issue that has been open on GitHub that's not actually finding the default runtime. So as soon as that's finished, I'll have a video for you, right? But I just wanted to update you with an easier way to, to deploy Olama on Kubernetes than what I was showing previously with OpenWebUI and all that. So hopefully this helped. Let us know what you want to see. Uh, see you next time.